Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods and Mother's Day is coming up, so I'm going to show you how to make this teapot cake. Now this is a simple cake to make. You can do it like I did with the frosting or you can cover it with fondant, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. Uh, your mother's going to love this cake. Now every year I make something special for Mother's Day. Last year I made a rose bouquet for not only my mother but my grandmother and my aunts brought it to them. It had 39 cupcakes that all look like roses and I'll show you a picture right now. They loved it. They enjoyed it. It was the light of their day. Um, so this year I'm making this instead and it's something cute, something that's mothery um, and I'm sure your mother will enjoy it as well. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make this. Start with your favorite cake mix. Add one package of vanilla pudding. Add a third cup of vegetable oil, then only add half a cup of water. You want to add four large eggs. This will make your cake dense enough for this design. Mix until all the lumps are removed. Grease a round oven-proof bowl with some butter. Sprinkle a little flour in the bowl and swirl it around to coat the bowl. Pour the batter into the bowl. Bake in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. After your cake has baked and cooled, remove it from the bowl. Flip it onto the serving dish. Then make another cake the same way. Use a cake leveler or large knife to trim the cake. Remove the cut layer of the cake and set it aside. Do the same to the other cake. Add buttercream frosting to one of the cakes. Flip the other cake on top of the frosted cake and remove the excess frosting from the sides. Trace a circle using the bottom of the bowl that you used to make the cakes. Cut it out. Use it as a guide to cut out the top layer for the teapot. Attach it using buttercream frosting. Place it in the refrigerator to firm up. Apply a crumb coat over the cake. Place back in the refrigerator. Using yellow fondant, shape the handle and the tea spout. Remove the cake from the refrigerator and apply the finish coat. Transfer it to a serving dish. Smooth out the buttercream using some parchment paper and gently rubbing with your fingers. Attach the fondant to the cake using toothpicks. Decorate with some pink frosting around some key points. I'm using some edible flowers to decorate the cake. You can get these at any craft store. Attach them with a little bit of buttercream. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make this teapot cake. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button below. Also, write in the comments below telling me if you plan to make this for your mother on Mother's Day, or if you're planning on doing something else for your mother. I'd love to hear those things. Tell me what you plan on doing and be sure to have a happy Mother's Day. Also, be sure to check out some of the videos I'll have off to the side as suggested videos that I think you may enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll see new videos every Sunday. So until then, I'll see you guys next Sunday.